November 24, 1944, 32,000 feet above Tokyo. The air is thin enough to kill. Lieutenant Yamamoto pulls back on the stick of his A6M0. His engine is screaming, choking for oxygen in the freezing stratosphere. The stick shakes violently in his hands. High above him, he sees them. The Silver Giants, the B-29 Super Fortresses. Months ago, Japanese commanders laughed at these ungainly beasts. They called them clumsy, easy targets. But up here, the joke is on Yamamoto. While his fighter stalls and shudders into a spin, the Americans are cruising thousands of feet higher, pressurized, warm, untouchable. They don't even deviate. Yamamoto watches in silent horror as the bomb bay doors open. He realizes he isn't fighting an enemy air force. He is watching an execution.